Now that we've reviewed notes and rests, we're going to talk specifically about whole notes and whole rests. Notice that there's a W at the beginning of each of those words, whole notes and whole rests, just like you might could eat a whole pizza. Remember, notes are what we call sound in music, and rests are what we call the moments of silence in music. This is what whole notes and whole rests look like. A whole note is just a big old circle note, kind of like a big old pizza. And a whole rest looks like a hole in the ground. Both a whole note and a whole rest get four beats. A whole note gets four beats of sound. So when we see it, we would say, ta and a whole rest get four beats of silence so when we see it we'll tap our shoulders four times like this here's another way to look at it a whole note is a four beat note so it takes up a whole measure a whole rest is a four beat rest so it also takes up a whole measure This is a way to think about notes a little bit differently. Up at the top, we see whole notes. They get four beats. A whole note can be split into two half notes. That's why they're called half notes. They each get two beats. Half notes can be split into two quarter notes. Quarter notes each get one beat. Quarter notes can each be split into two eighth notes. One eighth note by itself gets half of a beat. So two eighth notes together make up a beat. T, T, that's one beat. Eighth notes can be split down even further into 16th notes, which we talked about last lesson. 16th notes are four sounds happening in one beat. This might sound kind of similar to whole notes because whole notes are four beats long, but 16th notes have four notes in one beat. So they are much, 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 much shorter than whole notes. In fact, it takes 16 of them to make up one whole note. Listen to the difference. When I see a whole note, I say, ta. When I see a 16th note, I say, one e and a. Listen again, whole note, ta. 16th note, one eight and a, much shorter. The very next page in Canvas is a song to remind you about whole notes and all the other kinds of notes. It's called If You're a Whole Note. The page after that has a fun game called Notes and Rest Grab Level 2, and I'd like to teach you how to play. When you first see the page, it will look like this. And to practice, you'll need to click Teacher Mode. Once you click teacher mode, you'll see a fish that has a note in it. Look at that note and decide, is it a quarter note with one beat, a half note with two beat, a quarter rest with one beat, two eighth notes together with one beat, or a whole note that gets four beats? Well, this one is a half note, so I'm going to put it in the half note fishbowl. Once I've done it correctly, that fish will now live in the fishbowl and a new fish appears. You can keep going as long as you want to practice. In teacher mode, if you get the fish in the incorrect fishbowl, it will just head back to the ocean right here until you get it correct. Once you feel like you've really practiced and you've got it down, try it in game mode. Game mode will limit the fishbowls for a while, but it will also keep score for you so that you can see how you've done. All right, it's your turn. The first thing you're going to do is listen to the song if you're a whole note. And the next thing you'll do is play note and rest grab. Have fun. <laughs> 